Hello everyone, it's Andy Klepner here again with Automated Marketer. Today, we're building a squeeze page funnel in Go High Level. A squeeze page funnel is a type of marketing funnel designed to capture leads by offering a viable resource or incentive in exchange for contact information. The funnel typically begins with a squeeze page, which is a landing page with a form where visitors can enter their email address or other contact information in exchange for information. The visitor receives access to a free resource such as an ebook, white paper, or webinar. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do as we're building out the squeeze page funnel is we're actually not gonna build the funnel. We're first gonna build out the form. So we're gonna go to our builder, our form builder right here. We're gonna add a new form and we're gonna call this form the squeeze page form. After you've titled your form, you're gonna figure out what you're gonna do on submit. Now on submit in this case could go to an open URL or a message. Now I'm gonna leave this blank because in the funnel, I'm just gonna be going to the next step. So because I'm building it all out in GHL, I don't need to touch this. The next thing I would do if I was building it for a client, I would put in their Facebook pixel information and the events that correspond with that. Now we have a page view and this is saying right now, submit application, but that's not what we're doing. We're just kind of getting a lead. So I'm gonna click the drop down here and I'm gonna to go to lead. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna hit save form. All right, now we gotta start adding some fields. So this is very simple. We're just gonna put in their full name right here. And then we're gonna put their email address. I could add other things like a phone number, maybe a social media handle, anything like that. But for this context, all I want is their name and their email address. The most simple way to do it, I could even just do the email because I just want to get into contact with them. And the easiest way is through email addresses. Now I'm going to save my form. Before I'm done though, I got to add one more thing. I need to add a submit button. So I'm going to go back over to fields. I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to add my button right here. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna change the word button to submit. Now I wanna have a little bit more fun with this button. This button's a little plain right now. So I'm gonna make it a full width button. And then I'm gonna change the color of the button to my blue that I'm gonna be using for my funnel. And in this case, my blue is 233E61. And it's gonna change the color. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, corner radius, kind of give it a little bit of fine tuning, and we should be pretty good here. All right, ready to go. So our form is ready to use. I'm gonna click outside of it, and I'm gonna click Save Form. Now that I've prepared my form, I can then make my funnel. I'm gonna go to Funnels. I'm gonna create a new funnel, and I'm just gonna call this the Squeeze Page Funnel, and I'm gonna click Create Funnel, and it's completely blank. We're gonna click add new step. We're gonna name this page, just squeeze page. And we're gonna create the funnel step. Now that we've done that, we're gonna create from blank because this is completely blank. We're starting fresh. And very simply, I'm just gonna add my top area with one column. And I'm gonna put my headline right here. And I'll just type in something simple like, here's my attention grabbing headline. And then I'm gonna add my form. I just go down here, I drag my form right in here, I drop it, I choose my squeeze page form. My form has been entered. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of space at the top. All right. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a footer section to cover myself when I'm dealing with Facebook because I'll be linking to an ad from Facebook. I'm gonna have one column, and then I'm gonna add some text. But first, before I add that text, I'm gonna change the background. And that background is gonna be my dark blue. Now my dark blue isn't in here yet, so I'm gonna add that dark blue color by clicking didn't find your color. And I can name it if I choose, or I can just type it in. And I've added my color, but this doesn't look right. This should be in white. So I'm gonna click on those words. I'm gonna go the color right here and I'm gonna choose white. And now I have the white. Every time I create one of these funnels, I expect that I'm gonna be advertising it in many different spots, but especially as a Facebook ad. So I add this content to it. It basically says this site is not a part of Facebook 
or additionally, this is not endorsed by Facebook in any way. This basically covers my butt for any Facebook regulations. Now that I've done that, I wanna add my all rights reserved and my copyright. So I'm just gonna clone this one. And from the top, I'm going to add that information right in. I wanna have a little separation between the two of these. So I'll add a little bit of padding to the top of this. And now I've got my copyright, I've got my all rights reserved, and I've got all my information ready to go. But it still seems a little boring. It doesn't really give a person some context of why they want to fill this out. So let's add an image and maybe a cool background. So first, I'm going to turn this into a two column area. And I'm going to do that by cloning this column, then deleting this information on the left one here. So I can put my image right here. And I'm going to go to image, click on the image, scroll down. and add in my image for the ultimate email marketing guidebook. And you know what, I don't like my headline in there, so I'm gonna add another row. And I'm gonna just push this row right to the top with my arrow, and I'll drag this headline right there. And I think I could almost make that headline a little bigger. So on my left-hand side, I'm gonna increase the size. And there's my attention getting headline. And now I'd like to add a little bit of a background in here. So in order to do that, all I gotta do is go to the image URL here. And I believe I have some pretty good stuff back here. You could choose any one of these images or you could upload it. I'm gonna use this global information here. That's really bright to see. So I wanna wash it out. In order to do that, I'm gonna add a background color, making it white. And I'm gonna take the image that's there, I'm gonna stop it from being parallax, I'm gonna make it just full center. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna lighten it up by making it heavy fade. And as you can see, we can see the image behind it, but we can still read all of our information. So now that we have that page done, we have to say what we want it to do next. We need to say what happens when you submit this form. So you're gonna click on the form, and then on the left-hand side, you're gonna say what that action is going to do that action we want it to go to the next step which is going to be our thank you page so we choose go to next step now that we've chosen what we're going to do with the form we then go to settings go to seo metadata and we would put in the title of whatever that page is in this case it's going to be the ultimate email marketing guidebook and we could add a description some keywords any of that kind of information and we're just going to click update metadata and actually, I need to add an image in here also, so I'll click that, I'll choose this again, and there we go. And this is how it'll turn up in any social media. Click on Update, and then I'm gonna save the page, and we're ready to go. And we're ready to build the Thank You page. Now, the Thank You page is gonna be actually pretty easy to build because all we're gonna do is clone the page we've already used. So all I gotta do is on the right-hand side, click on Clone Funnel Step, and then clone the step into this funnel. And as you can see, we have the squeeze page clone. I then go to publishing. I change this to thank you. And make sure that I also change the path for the page. And click update. Now I'm ready to edit my page. I'm going to edit in a new tab. And I'm going to leave my headline here, but I'm going to add a video. I'll place my video right here underneath the headline. Now this is very large, so I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Instead of making it full width, I'm gonna make it a three quarter width video. And this information isn't needed anymore because we're not gonna have a form and we're not gonna have the guidebook. The reason we have a video here is because it's gonna lead them into the next bit of information we want them to learn about us. It could be an introduction to your program. It could be an introduction to you. It could be anything. So now that we've done that, we want to lead them to what we want them to do next. So we're going to put that underneath. So I'm going to create a new section. I'm going to make it three columns, a new row, excuse me, make it three columns. And I'm going to have step one, step two, and step three. So I'm going to click the element right here. I'm going to do a subheadline. 
I'm gonna just type in step one. And I'm gonna bold this, make it look a little cooler. I'm going to clone it. I'm gonna type in join our Facebook group. I'll make this a little smaller. And then change the mobile also. And then I'm gonna add a button right underneath. And it'll say click here to sign up. I wanna change the color back to my blue again. There we go. And I'll give it a little bit of space for the padding or for the margin, I should say. And that's step one. Now, I could rebuild step two, step three, but I've got an easier way of doing that. I'm actually gonna delete those other two columns and I'm just gonna clone the, this column. And all of a sudden, I'm gonna have my next steps. There we go. And then all I gotta do is do two, put a space in between, and do three right here. And just tell them what I want them to do. Check out our YouTube videos. And for the third one, I could lead them to our next program. Now I could change the buttons. In the button, I just go to the words, go to YouTube, and over here I'll do learn more. And make sure that those links are put in correctly, and then hit save. And I'm gonna get the SEO metadata again. So this will just say thank you. And we'd have more information in here if we have the context. Click update, click save. And now the funnel pages have been created. After we've done that, now all we gotta do is build the automation. On the left hand side, go to automation. And we're gonna create a new automation. So all we gotta do is click create workflow. I'll hit ignore here since we don't have our phones set up on this account. We're gonna start from scratch and create a new workflow. Now, this workflow is gonna be for our squeeze page. So I'm just gonna call the squeeze page workflow. We're gonna add a new trigger, and the trigger is gonna be form. Form submitted. Then we choose the form we're submitting by adding a filter, saying that the form is, and choosing our squeeze page form. And that's gonna bring that form's information into our automation. We're gonna assign it to a user your user should have already been created. So all I gotta do is type in user. In this case, I'm gonna assign it to my user number two test that was created earlier. I'm gonna hit save action, and now it's only gonna go to that one person. So if you have a sales team, and you know this form is for a certain person on that sales team, you would assign it to that user. Then we're gonna hit the plus sign, and we're gonna send them an email. Now that email is going to come from the user that it was assigned to. So we go to user, user full name, and we're gonna get the user email address that has already been entered into the back end of your system. All right, so username, user email. The subject is snappy headline download. <laughs> and over here, we're gonna write our email out. Hey, and then the contact's first name. We'll go to contact, we'll go to custom value, contact. We're gonna grab their first name, put a comma. We're gonna write our letter right here. I'll just add some lorem ipsum text in order to fill it up. And then I'll say, thank you, as a salutation, then I'm gonna add my user signature to this. Now you wanna make sure that you set up your signature correctly with the unsubscribed link inside of it. The reason being, if somebody wants to get off your list, you wanna make sure they have the most convenient way to do it through your email. It'll keep you in compliance and make sure that you stay out of the spam box. And this email looks like it's ready to go and we'll save the action. Now that would be the first email nurture. Actually, you know what I should title this correctly. So nurture email number one. And we're gonna save that action. Then we're gonna give it a little bit of a wait time before our next email. I'm gonna give it 24 hours. So I'll hit plus. 
I'll type in weight. And I'm going to type in 24 hours. So they'll get it the next day. That's one day. I could have chosen one day. I chose to use 24 hours. Now, I want to do two other emails. And the quickest way for me to do that is I click on these three little dots here and I'm going to copy from everything down. Copy all actions from here. And I'll go to copy here and I have a clone of the email I've already made. I'll go into this. I'll change this to a number two instead. All of this looks correct. I'll change the subject line. Should probably fix my spelling. <laughs> and then I would change my email as I see fit, type in some more information, maybe have a bulleted list, any number of things. Maybe I'll put a bullet over here. Just go like this. You get the idea. My signatures are in there from before. I'll add something new and snappy and I hit save action. And there's number two. I'm going to clone it again. And I'm going to copy it right here. I'll change it to number three. I'll have a new download. I'll have another email. I'll fill it all out. I'll hit save action. And then this wait, I don't need it to do anything. So there's nothing to happen here. So I can just delete this completely. Now I can do one of many things here. I can add more emails. I can add some text messages. I can add whatever I like, or I can go to another workflow, another nurture campaign, but we'll go over that in another video. So I've built out my automation. This is a very simple squeeze page automation. Now that I'm done building out my workflow, all I got to do is click on publish and save. And this one's ready to go. So that's the simplest way to create a squeeze page funnel. We first created the form. After we created the form, we built out the funnel. After we built out the funnel, we made our workflow to deliver the information that the lead would eventually see. And that's all it takes to create a simple squeeze page funnel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and then subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.